Hi guys, it's Scott Duffy from GetCloudSkills.com and I wanted to talk about the new AZ-104 exam changes that were just announced that are going into effect later this month. If you go to the official landing page, you'll see that this date, July 28th, 2022 appears as being the date when a new exam objectives comes into effect. You can see it here in the red box. It tells you that the July 28th is the date that the English language version will be updated. It does take a couple of months for other languages to see the same changes. Also on the same page, you should be able to see the new requirements in a new spot. It's called the AZ-104 study guide that can help you to prepare for the exam. So the study guide is all new and it's got a lot more content to it than the PDFs of the past. And what I did was I sat down with the study guide and I checked the previous requirements of the AZ-104 exam with the new requirements. And this presentation is comparing what is changing on July 28th. Microsoft does not do a very good job in this document of showing the actual differences. So right off the bat, there is a slight change to a couple of the exam objectives. We'll see that most of them are the same. When we get down to the virtual networking objective, the percentage of the exam covering virtual networking is actually lower at 20 to 25% instead of 25 to 30. One section has been removed from this section of the exam and they've changed the word backup to maintain in the last objective. Now I go through each of these sections. So we see here, there are five major objectives. I'll go through all five. The first major section, 15 to 20% has to do with Azure identities and governance. There's only two minor changes to this entire section. First one is they've added content relating to manage Azure Active Directory licenses. They have actually removed content around AD join. So that is the big changes for the first section. For the second section, a little bit more changes. They're talking about Azure storage and they've added content around Azure files access and Azure storage redundancy. And what they've taken away is the concept of encryption. They've taken away the contents of replication and the file sync service. Now we could argue that replication and file sync is a concept of redundancy. And as such, they've just reworded the requirement and there's just some playing around with the words here for storage. The third section was for compute. Now they've added one that says create a VM. This may have just been an oversight. Of course, you need to know how to create a VM even prior versions of this exam. So this is something that's been added that really isn't, shouldn't impact anybody. And then they've added content around Azure compute gallery. They've removing content around the templates and redeploying virtual machines. The fourth section, remember we said has dropped from 25 to 30% down to 20 to 25. They've added application security groups and they've removed user defined routes. They don't mention Azure firewall anymore. And they removed an entire section around on-premises networking, hybrid networking, including VPNs, VPN gateways, express route, and virtual WAN. So all of the hybrid stuff has come out of this exam. The final section has to do with monitoring and maintenance and backups. The only real content around that's changed is the M insights. Instead of saying application insights, it says VM insights. And that's it. That's the only things that have changed on this exam. I look at this as being a very minor tweak. Some of them have just been reworded, but it's the same basic requirement. So there's nothing really major on this, on this change. I counted seven new topics and 13 that have been removed. And keep in mind, one of the new topics is how to create a VM, which isn't really new. And maybe some of those things have just been the VM insights and application insights names have been changed. 
So my recommendation is you don't really have to do much. You can continue using your same study materials, whether it's my course or someone else's course or labs. And just keep in mind, come back to this video and investigate the new topics that aren't covered by the existing materials. The new exam goes live on July 28th for the English. And remember, for non-English tests, it's going to be a couple of months later. I will update my AZ-104 course. Remember, there's not very many changes, but I will go through and make sure that all of the new topics are covered in time. And there, of course, there's no charge. It's a free upgrade for any existing students. So if you're in my course in Udemy or on other platforms, you should see those new videos coming up this month. Thank you so much for following along here. You can see the changes for the AZ-104 test. My Udemy course is available for you. You can use my link. It'll give you a special discount, sjd.ca slash AZ-104. That'll take you to me with my coupon attached. And thank you so much for being a student. Thank you for watching this video. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, everything that you need to do in order to get other videos like this on Microsoft Azure. Hope you're having a wonderful day.